Welcome back to Parsons and Parsimony. If you guys have been following along on all the gardening that I've been doing, you know that last week, um, not, yeah, 10 days ago, I went ahead and put in all my squash, pumpkins, watermelon. My neighbor was able to put in a really large cu cucumber plant. And we've been having some cucumber beetles, not really a lot, just some that are just annoying and I've been hand picking them off. But today, <laughs> they have spread to the entire garden. They are on top of the pumpkins, they are on the watermelon, and they are sucking the living daylights out of everything. I'm gonna show you, if you've never seen a cucumber beetle, keep watching, I'm gonna show you what they look like and what the damage is that they do. So here's the, these are the squash plants. They haven't been as bad on these guys, I think primarily because they don't have, um, they don't have a lot of the yellow flowers. Let me see if I can zoom in here though. So you can see, where did you go, little fella? Okay, do you see that, guys? That little yellow and black bug is a striped cucumber beetle, and they are bad. This is the damage that they will spread. It's a virus and a wilt that will get spread to the plant and it will eventually kill the entire plant if you don't treat it. So you're gonna see here, this plant, this leaf is, yeah, there he is, right here. You gotta just take care of them. But there are too many for us, for me to deal with by hand at this point. So um, I am going to have to control them in other ways. Oh, where'd he go? See, they know I'm here. There's another one right in, oh, he went away, let me see. There they are, see all those little beetles? Those are really, really bad beetles. And if you look at the back of the leaves, you will see the damage. They just suck the living daylights out of the plant and then destroy the plant. And you can see this plant, how it, you know, it's all eaten up here and this is all damaged. Look at the back of that, really, really bad. I think you guys know that I use as few chemicals as I possibly can within my garden, but at some point you have to um, treat these. And so I've done a lot of research this morning on the best way to organically control these with the least amount of chemicals. And so what seems to be very effective, I read, is neem oil. I went to my local hardware store. This is all they had. I know you can buy neem oil and concentrate off of Amazon and probably Lowe's and Home Depot, but at our hardware store, this was all I could find and this is what I got. I feel like time is of the essence and I just needed to get what I could find. Um, I'm gonna do a two-fold approach though to dealing with the cucumber beetles. I'm spraying them with neem oil, which when it lands on them will kill them. Then I'm making sticky traps to attract the rest that I can't get with the neem oil, and hopefully that will take care of them completely in the garden, but the neem oil you do have to reapply after it rains, and we're, we're looking at rain tomorrow. So it's just, we're gonna try this, we're gonna see if we can control it. Years past, I went to um, gardenalive.com and had sticky traps, and they work like a charm. Um, it was the best year of cucumbers ever, but the downside is they're very expensive. Amazon does have sticky traps. I may end up buying a few if my my own homemade sticky traps don't work. But for now, oh, there's a whole bunch down on the on the ground. Look oh, at the yeah. ground; they're oh. all over the ground. Art wow. Art is here helping me try to hand pick these off. But there's just there's so many. Isn't it awful, Art? They've really yeah. gotten really bad. So this is war. We have declared war on the cucumber beetles. This is just reality of gardening and hopefully we'll just do this application a couple times and resolve the problem. Old mommy, those pokey things. Yeah. Good eyes, Mary. Let's look on the ground, see if there's any. 
don't see any on the ground, Mom, yet. Any on these guys? Don't see any. Oh, Mom, what are those? Those are the little baby squash. Oh, wow. Lucy, those, those are so Yep, tiny. there's one flying around. Land, land. Daddy's looking for some beetles, too. Mommy's looking for more beetles. Let's see, what are these plants? Egg plants. Oh. See the, all the holes? Yep. These are from um, flea beetles. And there are the flea beetles. I don't Go, know. Does that work to spray, spray so, them? Yeah, well, no, I don't use the spray on them. They need to be oh, dusted. Okay. And I need to do that too. For my other beetle trap, I have two solo cups here. I have uh, just some cotton that came in some of the kids' vitamins. I am going to put oils on that to attract the bugs. I have two uh, zip ties to attach the cups to <laughs> airplane, to my pole, and then this is what I'm using to attract them. I don't know if this is gonna work, but they said, wow. Wow. Two, right, one after another. Wow. Wow. And I'm just pretty much taking what I've seen on other YouTubers' channels and trying to replicate it. I can't tell you if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. And I may just order those cuc other cucumber beetle Mommy. traps to see if they'll work. Mommy. Let me put you guys here. We're going to start by drilling some holes in the bottom of the cup. Too loud. Shouldn't be too loud. Three. That one two has. holes. Two holes. That's Next is we need to attach this to our post here. I've got a post with this end. This is just laying around. Here, you can hold that for me, Grace. Thank you. And I'm going to put this in here. I like this one. Okay, just putting the zip tie here. Then, all done. Yeah, all done. I'm going to gonna fix this. <laughs> Hey, there's one cup. There's one attached. We're gonna put another one on. So there we go. We've got my two cups. Now I'm gonna start putting the sticky stuff and see if we can uh, track some bugs. Okay, I have never, ever, ever used this stuff before. I am told it's extremely sticky. Oh, that looks like fun. Okay, woo! Yeah, that looks one sticky. looks like caramel. Yeah, it is not caramel. Don't eat it. To swap the bugs. Yeah. Ooh, sticky. You could put it inside and outside. What are we gonna do with the stick after we're done? Uh, throw it in the compost pile. Oh. Okay. Well, let me There's that. Mommy. No. 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 Okay, Lily. Hold this. Just hold this on the top. Hold the stick. Yep. Oh, sticky. Very sticky. Okay. Um, I am using uh, thieves oil because oh, it's mostly oh, clove yeah. oil, and then peppermint. According to my research online, these are the two that supposedly cucumber beetles like. So, we're going to put some on our little cotton pad here. And you're going to put that in there? You're going to put the cotton in there? Yep, and this is going to attract those little buggies. They're going to be like, ooh, this smells good. This smells like a flower. I want to go in there. And then they're going to get zapped. Oh, I don't know. Yes, I know why they use oh, yellow, I Mommy. I think I know why they use yellow. Why do you think yellow looks like a flower? That's exactly right. Let's push that in there. I don't really want to get my hands all in there. I'm going to stick that in there like that. They're going to enjoy that until they figure Hopefully. out. Hopefully. Oh, Mommy, we're stuck. stuck. Mommy, stop. Okay. I can't move. Now let me close Mommy. these up. Mommy. Here comes the last part, and this is the part that we can't get this on us at all, okay? If we do, you'll have a lot of trouble. Do you have to do that outside, Mommy? I'm choosing to do it outside, because I don't want this on my Are you table. Are going to put more on the inside? Yeah, we'll put more on the inside. If the bugs make it that far. Right. And if this works, well, I'm going to be a very happy person. Mom? I don't know how to make this all by yourself. Because you will watch Can you make it by yourself? I have no idea what this is. Uh oh. Not another. That's not good. What? Uh oh. It's really not good. Did 
Did it say how to clean this stuff up? I don't know. Clean up. Remove tools with mineral spirits. Remove from hands or skin with baby oil or citrus cleaners. Then wash with soap and water. Okay. Not the end of the world. Sticky stuff. Definitely sticky. Yeah, just hold it down at this end, please. You got my shovel? Yep. Okay, now to go attract the bugs. More up. This is war. War. Okay, you Don't get it on your hands. What about this Come and get it. You'll like it. You think it'll work? Well, we'll find so. out soon enough. We are outside, back in the garden, once again, trying to plant our beans, which I got. Um, I think I told you guys in one of the videos, I actually forgot to order the rattlesnake beans and Baker Creek was totally out of them. So I ended up ordering them from Pine Tree uh, Garden Seeds. I've never heard of them before, but that's what where I got them from. Our, uh, the squash, I need hills over here with compost. How many hills? How many hills? Three. Yeah, and I need sticks. No, nothing's growing there right now. And so I have no idea. I'm presuming rattlesnake beans are rattlesnake beans from wherever you get them. They came really quick and they were, I think, $1.99. Pretty inexpensive for what I was looking for. And then I also picked up some more cucumbers and things like that. These are the seeds from my neighbor that are a um, like an Italian paste tomato. A friend sent them to him and, well, he asked me to grow them. They're doing pretty good. I mean, they were really late in the season. But we went ahead and got all the pole beans done. We expanded to three rows of pole beans instead of two like we did last year. We really want as many pole beans as we can handle just so we can put them away for winter time. How many jars do we have left from last season? Uh, maybe 40, maybe a few. Do we have that many? Yeah, I don't know. It's still a lot. I don't remember I don't. I'm going to say there's closer to 20 left. We did a lot of green beans last year, and I substituted with peas and corn that I would get frozen from Aldi. So we'll see how this works out. We still have the pole beans in the other garden, too. We might have more. We might have less. We'll just see how the weather cooperates. I also put in my sticks here for two zucchinis and one yellow squash here. But I'm going to go out and check before dinner the uh, beetle trap. Do you want to come see the beetle trap? Yeah. We'll see if it's working at all, if it caught anything. Not sure. Again, I don't know what I'm doing here, but a lot of people say this works, so we're going to find out. Okay, I already see one beetle. I see beetles here. Should have brought my neem oil out. Just taking care of the beetles. Okay, but let's check out the trap. That's, the proof is in the pudding and I see beetles on it. Look. Oh yes. Look. Beetles. Yeah. There yep. are beetles. Yeah, yeah, there's this side, there's more. Oh good, it's doing what it's supposed to do. And I'm sure there's still a lot on here, but I think the two prong approach is gonna work pretty well, Art. Everything is looking pretty good out there. We had a case where um, possibly a crow or a robin pulled out two eggplants. We've replanted them. Not sure how well they're going to do, but we just watered them. And everything else just requires daily visits to the garden multiple times a day. Um, if you guys have large gardens or you're just starting out, one of the best things you can do is go out to your garden at least morning and night and check it to make sure that you're, you know, looking for bugs, pests, um, bird damage, anything like that, because that's going to help you become more familiar when something's happening to your plants and you can be more proactive about it. So thank you, honey. With that, I'm gonna head in for dinner. I'm gonna end the vlog here. The war will continue with the cucumber beetles. I'll keep you updated on Facebook and Instagram. Hello, honey. And I hope you're having a fabulous day. We'll see you for our next video. Wanna say bye? Bye. Can you say bye? Mm. Say bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>